Hey guys, I'm Emmeline aka Winter Star Cosplay and I am well aware that cosplay can be expensive. I myself have made cosplays that range anywhere from absolutely no money at all to over $300, so I am well acquainted with the fact that cosplay costs a lot of money. And as a poor college student, I definitely do not want to become a broke college student. And so I try to find a lot of ways to cosplay on a budget. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can get wigs for cosplay while on a budget. So anyway, first off, for cosplaying on a budget for wigs, you can just always, of course, not use a wig. I have actually made a ton of cosplays without using any wig at all, and I actually made a full video about it, which you can check out in the cards. This can be a great option if you're just starting out cosplaying and maybe you don't have the money for a wig or you're not really sure where to start. If you're looking for a cosplay you can do without a wig, you can try and find characters that already match your hairstyle and color or you can always make up your own characters. I've done this for several characters in OCs where I just create a character intentionally with a hair color that matches mine. That way I don't have to use a wig. There are a ton of options for cosplaying without a wig, which again, I cover in my cosplaying without a wig video. So, while there are plenty of places you can go to get wigs that are a little bit more pricey and higher quality, like Arda wigs or Weekend wigs, there are also a lot of places where you can get wigs for a lot cheaper, which is fantastic for people who like to cosplay on a budget. Let's start off with Amazon. Amazon has a ton of wig options for pretty much any budget, and I have bought several wigs from there that I actually really like, including the one for my Tommy Innit cosplay and the one for my Dipper and my Mabel cosplays. I actually really like both of these wigs, and despite them being cheaper, like around $20 each, they are actually pretty decent quality wigs, and I've used them for a lot of different costumes. While I was wearing the one for my Dipper and Mabel cosplay, one of my siblings actually asked me if that was in fact my real hair. Would you think that they know that it wasn't since they've lived with me my whole life? But that just goes to show you how decent quality that wig actually is and only for like $20. If you're looking to get the exact same wigs, I will link all of the wigs that I mentioned specifically in the description below. So if you're looking for those wigs, they'll be linked below. When you are buying off of Amazon or really any online wig store, make sure to read the reviews, especially look at the ones with pictures. Because when the sellers are taking pictures of their wigs, they are being very, very careful to make them look as perfect as possible. And in real life, wigs don't look perfect all the time. So looking at the pictures in the reviews can be a good way to see how the wigs look in natural lighting or worn with a cosplay. Cheaper wigs tend to be on the shinier side, and while there are ways to make them not as shiny, I prefer to just look at the reviews and the pictures in the reviews and try to find wigs that are naturally not as shiny. In addition to Amazon, there are also a ton of other online wig stores that you can look at. One of my personal favorites is L Email Wig, also known as wigsupplier.com. They have a huge variety of wigs and costumes there, and they are very, very good for somebody on a budget. If you're worried about shipping prices, since a lot of cosplay things do come from China, they have a ton of wig options that are also just free shipping, which can also be fantastic. I have bought two wigs from L Email Wigs, one of them for my general Maya cosplay, which is probably my favorite wig that I have. I love how it looks on me. It's fantastic and it's only like $10, which is a great price for a budget wig. And the other one that I bought from Ellie Mo Wigs was my Wonder Woman cosplay wig, which I also really like a lot. It looks pretty natural and it doesn't look super shiny either. And it was only about $20, $25, which is a good price for a cheap, still quality budget wig. Again, just like before, make sure that you look at the pictures and read the reviews and make sure you know what you're buying. Also keep in mind shipping prices and shipping times since sometimes wigs from foreign countries can take a while to get to the US or the UK or wherever you happen to live. And just like the other two wigs, I'll link those two down below. Okay, but what if you can't order online? What if you don't have access to the internet? I take that back if you're watching this video, access to the internet. What if you don't have access to online shopping? Fortunately, there are ways that you can still get wigs. The first of which is Halloween stores. Now, at the time of making this video, it's not Halloween. At the time you're watching this video, also probably not Halloween. So this one can be a little bit trickier. Fortunately, Halloween stores tend to open really, really early. Or if it does happen to be around Halloween time, you can just stock up on wigs for the rest of the year. Halloween store wigs have a couple problems with them though. The first one, they are Halloween store quality and they can be pretty shiny and cheap. Second problem, they can be a little bit expensive. Third problem, again, they're only open Halloween time. But there are ways around all of these. First off, again, they're open 
for quite a while before Halloween, at least the one in my town. So you can buy cosplay wigs from there even if it's not quite Halloween time yet. Or you can buy one at Halloween to use at a convention way later in the year. Second problem, they can be a little expensive, yes, but if you wait until the days right after Halloween, Spirit Halloween at least has everything on sale. I have bought things there for up to like 50% off. I think they even go to 75% off. So if you buy things when they're on sale, it can be a lot cheaper. Third problem, they look kind of cheap and shiny. Again, there are ways to get around the cheap shiny factor. I don't use a ton of those personally, so I just kind of deal with it and try to get the lighting right so that it's not super harsh and super shiny. The one wig that I have bought from Spirit Halloween and used for cosplay is for my Ranboo cosplay. This wig was actually just pure white and I colored it black with Sharpies, which not the most recommended method for dyeing wigs. A lot of markers died. It smelled very strongly of markers and it was very tedious. And it, I, I should have used something else to dye it or just bought a wig online, but I was very short on time since I was trying to make 10 plus cosplays in a single week. And it was a struggle and it was like the last day, so I had to, I had to improvise and struggle. Fortunately, it all worked out. I was able to get that cosplay done and it looked pretty decent. So I think it's a win. But if you don't want to shop online or it's weird Halloween or it's just not Halloween time like it is right now in June, Fortunately, there are other options. The main one that I use is thrift stores. Now, when you're shopping for wigs at thrift stores, you need to be very careful with it because you, around Halloween time especially, you will find a lot of really cheap, really like destroyed wigs that you probably do not want anywhere near your head. You don't want lice and other problems you can get from wigs that are secondhand and look like garbage. But that being said, there are wigs that I've gotten from thrift stores that are actually pretty decent. The main wig that I've gotten from a thrift store is this one, which I've used for a couple different cosplays, and it was like less than $5, and it is a very nice wig. It was still in the original packaging, it still looked very, very nice, and my best guess is that somebody bought it, didn't like it, just couldn't return it, so they just gave it to the thrift store after wearing it maybe once. I've never had any problems with that wig, but again, just make sure you're careful with it. The one actually like destroyed wig I have bought from a thrift store was around Halloween time, I needed a white streak of wig hair. I didn't have any white wigs at the time, so I bought a pretty destroyed white blonde wig, cut part of it off, glued it together at the top, and used that with other wigs. I definitely did not put the original wig on my head since that thing was nasty. Again, just, just be careful with it. Use your common sense. I trust you. But if you do find a nice wig at a thrift store, you can get them for way, way cheap. The wig that I bought, it was maybe three or four dollars. I found the original one on Amazon, it was over 20. So that is a lot of saving that I just did on that wig. There are a ton of places you can go to find wigs for cosplay, even if you're on a very low budget. In this video, I've only covered a few of them, but there are also a ton of other ones like Doki Doki Cosplay, Epic Cosplay Wigs, and even places like eBay. Again, just read the reviews, look at the pictures, and when you're buying a cheap-ish wig, a good range to look for is somewhere between $12 and $20. $12, $25. That is a good price that is still cheap, but it will get you at least a decent quality wig if you're buying it from the right place. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, consider subscribing if you want a full list of lots of different places to look for cosplay wigs or co other cosplay resources. You can find it in my resource library, which you can get access to by joining my email list linked below. Thank you so much for watching, hope you liked the video, and if you want to see any other types of cosplay videos from me, leave suggestions in the comments and I will think about it. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.